Hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we are once more going to be talking about the tropics. We have Tropical Depression 13 now, which was Invest 98L, so we have a lot to talk about today. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and social media. I'd also ask that you check out our very exciting Patreon page in the description and pinned comment down below. That's also where you can find our very exciting Discord server and Facebook groups. Now, for today's comment of the day, I want to know, we have three disturbances in the Atlantic right now. When do you think our next one or our fourth one from right now will be? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Now let's get into this video and we're taking a look at Tropical Depression 13. Here is the National Hurricane Center's forecast, their cone forecast for this one. As you can see, it's expected to remain a tropical depression at least through the afternoon today, becoming a tropical storm at some point before or at 2 a.m. tonight heading into Friday. Uh, and afterwards, it looks to remain a tropical storm at least through about a week from now, or maybe about five days, four or five days, uh, as it will be entering the Gulf, potentially. Uh, I do think that there's a chance this one goes east of Florida still a little bit, so I want to mention that I think that's still on the table. Uh, obviously, the National Hurricane Center seems a little bit confident that it's going to enter the Gulf, though I do think that that's the more likely outcome. I I'm just saying I don't think that's the only possible outcome at this point. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at our uh, second tropical disturbance, which is going to be Invest 97L, which has really gotten its act together. And then we're going to take a look at that third disturbance. All right, so here's Invest 97L. And as you can see, we have a 90% chance of development which in the within the next two days, which is about what 98L had before it became a tropical depression. We're pretty much going to see this one develop at least into a tropical depression. Uh, it's heading directly west, so it's heading towards Central America. We'll talk about that in a little bit. It looks to hit Central America there and then curve north and then hit the Yucatan Peninsula. It'll finally be free of all this land impact once it enters the Gulf after that point, if it does survive, uh, where it could develop further. So we're going to talk about all of that moving forward. Here's your five-day outlook for this one. As you can see, also a 90% chance of development within the next five days. All right, now let's talk about that third disturbance here in the Atlantic. And we can see we have a 20% chance of development. It hasn't moved offshore of Africa yet. It's going to soon. And we're going to have to see how that develops. But we do have a 20% chance that this one develops very, very shortly. Here's the five-day outlook. And you, as you can see, we have a 40% chance of this one developing as it enters the main development region. Very interesting to see that occurring. So we have about a 50-50 chance of this one uh, becoming something within the next few days. Very interesting to say the least. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at the satellite imagery of each of these disturbances. Tropical Depression 13, Invest 97L, and then our third Africa disturbance. And then we're going to start talking about spaghetti model guidance for our Invest 97L and our Tropical Depression. All right, now here we are taking a look at the satellite imagery for Tropical Depression 13. It does have that buzzsaw look, which basically, well, it looks like it has uh, some little little spikes on the ends of it that that's kind of an, a key indicator of some rotation also i can see to the north it looks like we have some good banding up there i think this storm is going to become a tropical storm shortly uh over the next 24 hours probably but within the next 48 hours almost definitely let's go ahead and move on and take a look at invest 97l this one is also looking quite nice this one actually does look better than tropical depression 13 if you ask me has a much more organized area of uh, thunderstorms and tall clouds. This one is going to become a tropical depression most likely very soon. You can see Jamaica is to the very north here of the uh, of this map, and Jamaica is probably feeling some very uh, impactful conditions right now. If you're in Jamaica, leave a comment. Let us know what the conditions have been like this morning. Although I can tell you it's probably been quite rainy and a little bit windy, to say the least. Let's take a look at that Africa disturbance now as well. As you can see, it's at the bottom middle of this screen. Uh, the low pressure center is actually onshore of Africa, but a lot of that convection is offshore. Uh, and this one looks to become a tropical depression, about 50-50 chance over the next five days. So we most likely, or I wouldn't say most likely, it's a 50-50 chance, like I said before, this one will develop into something. You can see our next disturbance is just there in the armpit of Africa there. We do have a big disturbance that is heading westward rapidly as well. The tropics don't look to slow down any time soon. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at our spaghetti model guidance for Tropical Depression 13, our intensity guidance for Tropical Depression 13, and then we're going to take a look at the spaghetti model guidance for Invest 97L and the intensity guidance 
for Invest 97L. And then we're going to take a look at our direct weather forecast for all three of our disturbances. All right, so here's the spaghetti model guidance here for Tropical Depression 13. As you can see, over the next 24 hours, they're going to be approaching, or I guess the next 48 hours, they're going to be approaching the northern end of Puerto Rico there. Now, as of yesterday, there was a big possibility that this, this disturbance, or now depression, was going to track directly over the islands. Puerto Rico, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Cuba. The models have really backed off of that. They've trended north, and that's going to be a key player in this storm's development. That's going to help this storm develop quite far uh, and quite significantly, and we're going to need to watch it very closely because within the next four days, we could have a tropical depression, tropical storm, or a hurricane approaching the southern Florida coast, possibly uh, further north up the coast, or maybe even dodging Florida and going into the Gulf. I still think that there's a possibility this one gets pulled up the coast a little bit. There is some models trending at that right now, uh, but we'll have to watch it closely. But a Gulf entry can't be rolled out either at this point, which is going to raise even more questions moving forward within the next five to seven days. We're going to need to watch it closely. Overall, the intensity guidance is split down the middle. There is a few that keep this at a tropical storm status. All of them do have it entering tropical storm status, but I would say about 50% of them keep it kind of suppressed at tropical storm status. And then we have these boom models, these ones that go boom, and they really trend at this one becoming a category one, potentially category two, three, and even one showing a four. That's quite aggressive. Not saying that's going to happen, but it is a possibility at this point. This one could become our first major, major hurricane. We're going to need to watch it closely, although it seems the more likely outcome is a strong tropical storm or a category one hurricane. Although these storms have been known to really outdo the intensity guidance on the model so far this year. So we're going to need to watch it closely. I'm going to be tracking it every day with you guys. So rest assured, we will be keeping you guys updated. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at the spaghetti model guidance for our Invest 97L. And as you can see, in about 24 hours, it's going to be interacting with Central America there. Uh, and then within the next 48 hours, it's going to be approaching the Yucatan Peninsula. And in about 72 hours, which is three days from now, we're going to see it exiting the Yucatan Peninsula where it's going to enter the Gulf. Uh, and actually, it looks like anywhere from southern Texas to anywhere in Louisiana could feel the most impacts from this one in America. Uh, I would say Yucatan Peninsula probably is overall going to feel the worst impacts from this one out of anybody. But really, really, uh, we're going to want to watch this one closely. The Gulf is ripe right now. The, the temperatures are very warm. I could see this one developing quite far, uh, and we've seen that happen before with the Gulf. Although there is a few models that say, look, this one isn't even going to become a tropical storm as we're looking at the model intensity guidance. Uh, and then we only have one showing a Category 1 hurricane, though about 50% of them, maybe a little bit more. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six that's showing it at least become a tropical storm. And there's only two that show it not becoming a tropical storm. So it looks likely that we will see a tropical storm out of this one at least, uh, but not guaranteed. Uh, but hurricane doesn't seem to be a big chance as of right now, but we might see that moving forward. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at our direct weather forecast for Tropical Depression 13, Invest 97L, and then our next invest, which is moving offshore of Africa right now. All right, so here we are taking a look at Tropical Depression 13, the next five-day forecast. As you can see, my cone is a bit wider than the National Hurricane Centers. I understand that these, these storms could do a lot of different things. I'm still keeping the possibility of a direct impact to Puerto Rico, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Cuba. So you guys are going to want to watch out if you live there. Those islands are not out of the waters yet. Uh, this storm can still track right over you. Uh, and then also Florida is right in the crosshairs as well as Bahamas. Bahamas and then a Florida impact seems to be the most likely outcome at this point, which is very bad news for you guys. I'm not ruling out an East Coast track or an out-to-sea offshore of the East Coast track at this point. As you can see, my cone does go pretty far uh, east of Florida. That's kind of keeping that possibility on the table. But I think the most likely outcome is a Bahama impact, then hitting maybe southern Florida, and then re-entering the Gulf. And that's when more question marks arise. We do see a lot of times storms hit Florida and then enter the Gulf and then re-intensify. We could see something like that happening, which would be pretty much worst case scenario Again, we're going to track this storm religiously moving forward, and we're going to really keep an eye on it, talking daily about it. Now, Invest 97L, again, most likely going to impact Central America, then the Yucatan Peninsula, and then it re-enters the Gulf. It's going to be moving quite slowly as it curves around, uh, so we're going to have a lot of time for this one to redevelop it if it wants to, but the major question is, it, will it do it? You know, we don't know for sure if it will. 
Uh, so we're going to track that one moving forward. But if you're in Central America or the Yucatan Peninsula or Cozumel, uh, you're going to want to watch out for this one closely. All right, and now our next invest moving offshore of Africa, well, it's just going to be heading west. We're going to watch it closely, and we'll know more in about a week if this one's going to be a threat for anywhere or not. Now, for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, what do you think is going to happen with this African disturbance? And, hmm, yes, said, I think the disturbance will fizzle out into the Atlantic. And, I, you know, I think that that's a good possibility here. Uh, usually after we see a lot of storms move through, we don't really see a lot of action afterwards. Usually the conditions become a little less favorable. But I do think that this is only a possibility. I do think it's also possible we see this storm slowly develop and move its way westward towards uh, North America or Central America, in which case we're going to need to talk about it further. Anyway, for our patron highlights of the day, I thank you all for supporting the channel. We also have our diamond patrons, Mad Birds and Mark J, as well as our platinum patron, Donna Carnes. I thank all of you. Uh, if you would like to support the channel and be on this end screen, you can do so by supporting the channel, checking out our Patreon page in the description and the pinned comment down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social media. I will see you guys in the next video.